Okay. Howdy, folks. Aloha. Welcome this evening into our, uh, or Josiah's hotel room here at Queen Kapiolani on Waikiki Beach. Again, we're at the same hotel we were last week. This one just happens to be in the room since it was um, so difficult to set up last week down in the, the gathering area and it was so loud. So this week is just Jay Paul and I, and um, I hope the internet holds out. I see the bars are um, wavering back and forth between one and two bars, but, uh, but greetings and welcome in folks. This, I am Tina or Tima, and this is Jay Paul. Okay. So if you're new here, welcome. <clears throat> I see Diamond King and Michelle's in the house, Sarah and another Michelle, <laughs> two Michelle's already. Hey, Robin and Peggy. There's Kay and Sandy. A lot of good people here this evening. I won't be able to call everyone's name out, but I do appreciate you here. I know that uh, I see Karina and Tamara. There's Marsha saying howdy af afternoon. Um, I'm going to do an update today, Marion. That's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> and uh, yes, someone who asked, uh, that picture was the picture of um, Tripler, Tripler um, Army Medical Center here in Hawaii, and that's where Josiah is currently. I was hoping that we could do a live from his uh, hospital bedside, <laughs> but no such luck because it's a shared room. So I don't even get to sit and stay and visit at the hospital, which I might fight for more, but Josiah basically sleeps. He's in lots of pain and he still sleeps most of the time. They have to wake him up to eat. When he eats, he may or may not try to go to the bathroom. So uh, I'll give you more of that update in a minute after we tell you about what the doctor said this morning. Uh, howdy, Amber and Mary. Let's see. William's here and Miss Carrie's here. Uh, Sana. Barbara, there's Ashley. How you doing? Yes, just going to give you the update in just a minute on Josiah. Hello, bonsoir, Danielle, and Spirit Heart, and Brenda, and Risa. Um, Danielle's the mod over there at Pashi Pins. They did a whole bunch of petite or mini pins this week. Go take a look if you haven't done that. See a, a lot of folks here, Amelia and Sherry. There's Erica. Howdy, Erica. Um, <clears throat> aloha. Yes. Uh, thank you. Still need prayers. Still got a long way to go. So obviously if you've been paying, uh, attention, thank you, Kel. I, um, and Anita, I need my mods here. I appreciate y'all, <clears throat> especially I'm kind of, I feel a little bit handicapped <laughs> here because I don't have my extra screen, so I can't, uh, see all the things I normally see. So we're just dealing with what we have uh, to deal with here. I do have the iPad over here if uh, we need to see some of the comments. There's Rochelle. Rochelle says, hey, j Paul. Hey. <laughs> and Barb. And there's Debbie. <clears throat> Thank you. So let's go ahead and get into this because not everybody is friends with me on Facebook. And I just remembered yesterday to start posting some updates in the group because I'd been doing it every day on my personal page. And then I realized uh, that the Sparklers family is not getting those updates either. So I have posted some updates in the Sparklers group from yesterday and today. And <clears throat> uh, if you haven't heard, Josiah did do well through surgery. It went just as well as expected it could be. Uh, they got in there and they got the mass out. It was encapsulated, so it was a cavernoma. They won't have the biopsy, not biopsy, but the, what do you call that? Yeah, it's not biopsy because biopsy was when they take something, but they won't have the results back um, to make sure it wasn't cancerous, which the doctor didn't think it was. It didn't act like cancer. It just acted like a cavernoma. And that's just uh, a place that, um, bleeds randomly it's just some usually genetic just uh unlucky just 
just an unlucky thing. And yes, sleep is healing Don, which is good because he's sleeping a lot. Um, they are changing his meds a little bit because he's saying so groggy. Uh, <clears throat> so through the surgery, he did uh, very well. He came out of it and could move his feet and hands. And that was the big thing, right? That was a very big thing. Um, and that was really great. He had a uh, really great, what, attitude or yeah. something yeah. afterwards. And the doctor was very pleased. I'll turn off my notifications over here. <clears throat> and uh, said, well, if he keeps doing this and he keeps showing this much progress, then he'll be out by the weekend. Well, <clears throat> that was just that first night after the surgery in ICU. And he was he was going to do no meds. You want to turn that off? He was going to do no meds at all. And, um, well, obviously you can't do that after they have taken off and cut away three of the top parts of your vertebrae. So uh, they obviously started giving, he started having muscle spasms and they finally gave him uh, shots to, for the muscle spasms and the pain. And howdy, Natalie and Jamie. Oh, there's Keisha. Hey there. Uh, yes, that's right, Jessica. So they did do that. So when we got there Wednesday morning, was that Wednesday morning? Yeah. I'm trying to remember what time we got there. But by the time we got there, they had already moved him out of ICU. He still had the drain in his neck. He was moved out of ICU, but he was a little more doped up. He didn't want to move much. They had got him up in the ICU to make sure that he could walk with the walker. Of course, he's assisted. They're holding him up. He can move his feet, but he doesn't have feeling. In his uh, left side is numb, especially his left neck, leg is numb. Now, he, he, he has feeling in it and movement, so that's all positive. Those are all good things. Keisha says, hey, Jerry. Thank you. But um, so all good things, all positive things. But he just still has numbness in that left leg, especially on the and the left side. Um, so that Wednesday morning was pretty good, but it's kind of knocked out of it. And they had been given him meds yesterday. We oh, and when we went there Wednesday, I just I brought my craft bag. I just expected to stay in the hospital and just diamond paint the whole time. And that's when we discovered he's in a shared room with a roommate. Thank goodness he's the first one in, so we don't have to walk past the roommate, but it also means that he's not near the window. The roommate is near the window. It controls that side, so he's at the door side. He doesn't have any natural light, um, which is okay right now because he's just sleeping. But I did hear that the roommate was being released today. Did you hear that? Okay. So, you know, it's kind of awkward because they talk to the roommate, they talk to Josiah, so you hear each other's discussions, so to speak. But <clears throat> anyway, uh, we discovered that that day and they were trying to get us to keep quiet. But I went to the restroom. When I came back, Noah and Jerry had left the room feeling like they had to leave and that we couldn't even stay there. So I was very <laughs> upset, to say the least, on Wednesday. Did we go back that night? I did. I went back that night and I, and they were like, is there anything you do? And I said, yes, give me some chairs. So they did get us a couple of chairs and brought him into the room so that we at least could sit down with him uh, for a little bit, an hour or two. And um, I helped feed him. I may have kept forcing food down and we had gone and bought some fruit drinks for him and we took those to him. Um, and I've been trying to make sure kind of like a, the naked drinks, you know, with all the fruits in it. He loves those drinks. And he's having a little bit trouble swallowing. Um, he can swallow. It just kind of gets stuck here. So he really likes the drinks. And he's not eating as much as he could or should. Um, so when we went back this morning, we, we got up and went early enough to see the doctor. <laughs> so the doctor came in, which was perfect timing. And um, he he was he still seemed a little impressed with his progress. However, he, he hadn't heard from the occupational therapist and the physical therapist yet, who had just left. One, the physical therapist was just leaving the room when we came because they had tried to sit him up and stand him up, and he almost fainted. So they, he they, he was just being laid back down when we got to the room, and um, he's 
they were like, oh, I think we're going to have to recommend some acute rehab, you know, because the doctor's thinking, oh, he can just get out. And then I'm like, that's not what they just said. <laughs> uh, and he was like, oh, we'll have to see what they say. And then um, they served him lunch and I made him uh, eat lunch and helped serve it, help cut it up or no, that, that was leftover breakfast. Right. Yeah. That was leftover breakfast still. Cause that was still like 10. So, um, I just made sure he ate. I tried, I got the fruit drink down. I made sure he ate. And he's like, that's enough. I'm like, gotta finish this, you know, <laughs> just cause that's unfortunate. All you want to do is spend time with him. So he's not alone. Right. Um, yeah, we're, I'm not sleeping well. So I haven't been sleeping well. And, uh, Yesterday, before I went back to the hospital, they had tried calling when my ringer was off and they talked to Noah as well. And they were wanting to know when he's being released, where he's going to stay. And, and Noah's like, I don't know. You're at the hospital. <laughs> you should know this. So that was the social worker talking to him, uh, Noah. So we, we went in with a lot of questions today. And um, <clears throat> sure enough, there's no way he's being released today. Uh, nor through the weekend with the lack of progress he's made with moving around. There's TK. Hey, baby girl. And um, that's my oldest daughter for y'all, Tiffany Butler there. Hey, Kimberly. Um, so, so we moved from our host house into Josiah's room the night after Wednesday night um, because it's here vacant and we can stay here next to Noah. Noah's actually in the room behind us, behind this wall. And that way, because for Noah and Josiah to get an Uber to the hospital is 50 bucks. There's Bobby. Bobby's here. Mm -hmm. So we take Noah to and from the hospital with us. We'll go again after this live. I plan on going again this evening. We've been visiting about twice a day so far. And if he, if he can get more coherent and talkative, um, I'll stay longer. But as of right now, um, we go there. I make a meet. He might, uh, last night I made him eat so much. They were, he's like, I got to go to the bathroom. So he got up and he tried to go. Um, and, uh, but when he comes back, there's Serenity. Hey, baby girl. Uh, but when he gets back in the bed, he just almost passes out. I mean, not literally to that, but he just, he gets settled. He's in so much pain. He just sits there and falls asleep. Well, they give him pain medicine. He is on pain medicines, Oxy. And then they changed it to tropidol or something like that today because they're trying to give him something that's not knocking him out so much because that's the problem he's just sleeping constantly I've, I've sent him messages and just and uh, noah has sent him messages on the phone he hasn't even looked at his phone he doesn't pick up his phone that's how that's how we know he's not progressing yet <laughs> uh they did take off um the let's see they did take off his bandage today so i was going to show you that Oh, but I have a picture up here and I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to show you real quick. Yes, he is trying, Joyce, he is. And I will tell him, uh, Jessica. Howdy, Linda. So I have this picture from Missy uh, Schluter on Facebook. She's doing this rhinestone goddess diamond painting by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. See that? And she has done a fantastic job with this border. So I'm going to see if I can get it a little bit closer. She is using quad cubes and crystals and designing her own black, white, and red border on that. And I wanted to do a shout out to Missy. I had that up and I forgot to do that last week, of course, since I was interviewing Josiah. So I wanted to uh, show you all that and do that shout out. But let me show you, if you haven't seen the updates, <clears throat> they did take the bandage off today. And here is the video, folks. Let's see. It is stunning, isn't it, Kokesha? Now, I'm sure she has a lot more progress in the last week or so. Uh, Sonia said, I'm glad all the prayers were answered, that it was fully removed, and now it'll be a few long months of recovery. That's right. Um, the more sleep for his body to heal. That's right. And um, I'll, I'll finish telling what the doctor said. Here's this. <laughs> Yeah, that looks, looks perfect. perfect. Yeah, it looks good. So that was them taking off the bandage. And uh, that's the wound site there. And that's where they took the drain out yesterday, right there. The drain stayed in until yesterday. Oh, 
goodness. Well, what happened? Okay. It's just, somehow Cheryl. Let's see. I saw her comment there. Oh my goodness. You're right. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Uh, hold on. It's not letting me do that right here. Oh, I need to be on face um, YouTube. Hold on just a minute. Let me go on here. Cheryl's not a um, blue anymore. And I don't know what happened there. Let's see. Put user in timeout. <laughs> Hide user on this channel. Go to channel, channel activity. Hmm. Let's see why it's not doing that. Hmm. Channel activity, go to channel. Put user in timeout. Where are you? Aha. I found the button. There it is. Uh, uh, okay. There we go. Now, I don't know what happened there, Cheryl, but now, there you go. You should be blue again. Oh, I, look at that. <laughs> oh. I put that comment over there and didn't even know it. I was in trouble, didn't even know it. Uh, let's see. I got to take that off. I don't know how to take that off. <laughs> Let's see if I can take it off over here. There we go. <laughs> All right. Sorry for that little hiccup there. <laughs> oh, gosh. Are you logged in on another device browser or account, says Erica? <laughs> I don't know. So. All right. <clears throat> we got you blue again. <laughs> we. Uh, so today. We had. Um, the doctor was in there. You saw him take off the bandage. He was pleased with his progress, told him that today would be the worst pain day. He told us the first and second days, but he, right. but today he said today would be the worst pain day and that it will get better. He promised the pain would go away as long as he could move everything. Uh, he should get the feeling back and pain would go away. He just needs, so today's jobs was to make sure he ate, sure. got up and showered and tried to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so those were all, uh, his jobs uh, today from the doctor. So I tried to make him eat more and give him the juice stuff. And uh, when we did all of that, he just, it, it was just, he just falls asleep. He just well, falls asleep right there. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah you're right. She just, <laughs> so he just falls asleep and that's when we just leave naturally after that time. Um, and we hope to go again tomorrow morning because his doctor actually leaves tomorrow night for a week. Uh, for business. And again, he was saying, Oh, I think he'll be okay. He'll probably get out Monday and do whatever. And again, we've had the social worker calling us saying, where's he going to go? And I'm like, well, there's a hotel room here with one bed and there's a shower he'd have to step up into. Um, yes, it's draining and the meds take effect. I know healing's a lot of energy. Hey, Amanda, I've been that adult child, child scaring my parents and Josiah's surgery seems like it was a really a lot. It was, it was very rare and a very a serious. Yes, Cheryl. So what the doctor didn't say, but remember the physical therapist had been there and told us he's not progressing well on that. And he had almost fainted right before we got there. So they're probably going to recommend some long-term physical therapy or wasn't sure about that. But then right right as we were leaving, he'd fallen asleep, eaten and fallen asleep. And as we were leaving, two occupational therapists came in and um, they had tried, to, they had tried to see him yesterday and he would not get up again. And we told him that he'd just eaten and slept and that he had almost fainted before. And he's, and she's like, yeah, we're going to recommend that he goes to acute, what's it called? Your acute, acute rehab. Yeah. And no, Kathy, they're not worried. They're not worried. Um, but, he just can't, he cannot leave the hospital in the current condition. He can't walk unattended and he can barely do that. So he That's gets fine. dizzy and faint. He's got to have help. So he cannot leave the hospital yet. And so the occupational therapist and the physical therapist are both going to recommend acute rehab, which there's only one on the island. And that supposedly my understanding, that's why I want to talk to the doctor again. My understanding would be that, he would have to go maybe, maybe Monday or Tuesday to that um, as an in-between step. And I don't know how long he'd stay there until they could get him um, walking and being active on his own. Now, hey, Brenda, we 
are supposed to leave very late Saturday night, 8.50. The, the, the sun keeps changing and it changes our lighting in this room um, <clears throat> on Wednesday night. And this is Friday night. And that seems like a long time away, but not when he's still in the hospital. So I need to see significant changes in his condition and his mobility, um, get him to whatever next facility he's going to be in and decide if I can handle the idea that Noah being here is enough for me mentally to leave him. Or since we're already here, we did already pay for the insurance or whatever, the flexibility on the tickets. We might extend that a few days just to make sure he he's um, mobile and doing well. Uh, does Noah stay no matter how long? Yes, Cheryl. Noah stays no matter how long with him. At least that is what we all have been led to believe. Yes. So he will have Noah with him. And Noah is very attentive. He's he's good. Um, so Noah would still be with him. Hi, Rhonda. If he is on certain meds, they may not accept him. Well, what kind of meds? He's not on any meds right now except for pain meds. Uh, the area where the cavernous was affects the nervous system. So the rehab will help his body remember how to walk and use his muscles again. I hope so, Amanda. And they'll do wonders. Yes. When I broke three, bo uh, three bones in my leg and couldn't walk, it was very frustrating. Not the same surgery, but I know it can be very scary not having control like you used to. It's very hard to try for a while. Yes. Uh, King, I got my order in yesterday and done a video for my channel. Oh, and has so much subscribers to check out your channel. Oh, thanks, Diamond King. I didn't know you had a channel. If y'all haven't gone seeing Diamond King's channel, go check it out. I'll have to do that myself. Thank you, Rhonda. I appreciate those thoughts and prayers. They're still uh, needed and still very useful. Yes, he made it through. Yes, he has use of all his arms. And we're going to trust that uh, the pain will get better because it, the doctor says it always does. It always has. And uh, um, oh, some rehabs require a level of mobility. Well, I don't think he's leaving that hospital so he can actually get up and walk a little bit. But um, he will have regular PT and OT and rehab several times a day along with the nurses, aides, and Noah. It will be good. Yeah, that's right. I, and um, I think it's three times a day at least. So he has, he does have to do that. It's just that um, I wouldn't want to leave him in the current condition. Now, he is, he'll say when he is awake, he'll be like, did y'all go to the beach? <laughs> and because yesterday morning, we went to the beach for an hour before we went to visit because that's what he asked us to do. And Jared got in the water. And Noah did not go surfing again, even though we thought about it. He, he was too tired. So he didn't go surfing again. And today I just sat by the pool for just a few minutes to get in the sun because it's hard with so much beautiful sunshine and warm weather here. Being from Missouri, probably going back to 50 degrees or something. Um, at least I'm trying to sit in the sun for a few minutes um, in between visits with him. But since we can't stay so long at 30, I taught myself to walk all over again. It was not easy to do, but I was determined. Good for you, Wanda. I know, Kathy, I know. Um, good for you. Very good. Acute rehabs work with all usually subacute is different. Uh, <clears throat> so that was the news we got today. And again, I wanted to go early tomorrow morning just to hear from the doctor himself before he leaves, because there'll be another doctor coming in after that. And um, so, so that's the latest update. You know, we left him tired and sleepy. I'm sure he's been fed lunch by now. What time is it now? And by the time we get there, he'll have been fed supper. If not, I'll be fe feeding him supper again myself. <laughs> he can't cut up the food yet himself. He can move the fork to his mouth, but he, he doesn't cut things like that. I know that vitamin D, right? Brenda, I'm missing that. Um, and they'll get him to where he needs to be. They will, but we found out last night when we went that he wasn't asking for help. What was it that we needed to do? Well, first of all, nobody knew that he was having trouble swallowing. Um, and, and so I informed the nurses of that. And then um, I told her, oh, the drinks were still there from the night before. Nobody had gotten any more from the little fridge for him. And I said, Sai, you have to ask. He doesn't want to bother them. So he thinks he's a bother. And I told the nurses, I said, look, he's not asking for help. He didn't ask for these drinks. He's not asking the, you guys to help him move or anything like that. But um, he's, it's still numb, Cheryl. It's still lump, numb on the left side. He can move it. And um, in one of the videos I think I placed in Facebook today, it shows where the doctor is 
moving his toe and saying, am I going up or down? And Josiah said up. And, and of course, Josh was like, well, you had a 50-50 chance, but that's good. So um, thank you, Billy. But he is, it is out and he's moving. So this, we're over that hump and now we just have to get him walking and mobile again. Now, what happens after all this? We're not sure. We don't know. Do they, I mean, theoretically, they have the hotel room booked for one more week after we leave. So the second, and I don't know, we don't know. It's all up in the air. It's, uh, it depends on how well he progresses. Right. How well he progresses. But I'm, I'm thinking, okay, but is he supposed to go back to Sasebo and recuperate? Why can't he do that in this, uh, at the mainland? You know, why can't he do that at home? If he's just got to sit around and recuperate, there's nobody he lives with at home. He lives out, out away from the base with no transportation. So I don't, I don't know what this looks like, to be honest with you. I really don't. <clears throat> so um, right knee had to cut my nerve to get a ride. Ooh, can I understand now he doesn't want to be a bother. Um, glad you use your voice on his behalf. Well, do I have a contact? I don't, Cheryl. I don't have anything. I mean, I, I don't have anything. Um, we did get the nurse's station. If that's yeah. what you mean, the nurse's contact, or or I don't know what you mean. Nurses' aides are always busy. Have to ask in the hospital. Had that with my mom. Had to make sure his needs are met. Right. Oh, medical leave. Oh. Uh, will the doctor sign for that? I don't have a clue. That's why we need to talk to him one more time to try to understand where this is headed or going, because if he's coming, I don't know. He's supposed to go back to Sasebo, Japan. I don't know what kind of work he could do at all. I don't have a clue. And if he needs to recover for a while, you know, send him home. I don't know before he has to go out uh, to where he's going. No, they wouldn't be rehab in uh, Japan. They're, I don't think he would have to stay here to get as much as he wanted, I think, because I don't think they're going to have much in Japan. Military didn't send him to the States to have surgery and leave medical. No joke, Tammy. Um, let him come home with you guys. Me too. Will they medically discharge him? Marla, that's a great question. We've all answered that. Six weeks to fully cover. Yes. And Marla, we've all asked that question um, or wondered that question. It depends on how disabled he is, the numbness in his leg. That I don't know. Uh, Lauren says it looks like she might need to go to Japan or Hawaii. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I do, we don't know all those answers. We have all those questions ourselves. And the doctor can't answer that, to be honest. He's just done his job. There's only the command and the other people make those decisions. I mean, I guess the doctor would say, no, he's incapable. But at this point, he's not saying he isn't capable. I have a screw in my knee, so I can't kneel it off. Yuck. And the, and the unknown is scary. You're right. The, uh, medical discharge can take up to a year. Yikes. Is there a VA hospital near your home? I wonder if they could do rehab near your home. Um, I think there is near St. Louis. Doesn't Michael go yeah, to VA hospital there? A VA there is a VA hospital near there. There is. Hey, Diane. And by the way, Diane, I think you won something. So you haven't emailed me yet, and I'm only sporadically doing emails. If any of y'all have emails submitted, last night I tried. I stayed up for a couple hours trying to do some emails, but then my computer would not allow me to access all the USPS.com tracking information. And I know I have a handful of missing packages right now, which I'm sorry. And I will tell y'all this. If you don't pay for priority, folks, <laughs> then um, if you're in the U.S., they, they have the ground advantage, so that will cover a little bit. But if you ship outside the U.S. with no priority and that package gets lost, theoretically, I've done my part of the job. But it's it's a really hard call because it, at the checkout, it says uninsured and um, not refundable. So you're taking a risk. The point is you're taking a risk if you choose to not uh, insure your package. Please, please insure it because... Yes, we have more missing packages. The mail service is not doing a great job on that. And um, I, I basically just been telling folks, I'm sorry, I can't do much. And last night it wouldn't even, uh, I couldn't even get to do tracking. Uh, I speak for me, we are your, I know. 
we've gotten, oh, good. But there are people who haven't gotten packages. Now, some of the ones I put claims on, they were delivered. Yay. Some of them have not, and they haven't been delivered in five or six weeks. So I understand they have to, I have to deal with that because that's not one of the things that kids really do. Even in the States, there's no guarantee. I have a package missing for 30 days and they will not honor the guarantee. I know. And it is, Keisha, it is very frustrating for me. Do you know that even priority mail gets lost? It does. But at least when I do a claim on the priority mail, at least we can get that money back and then resend the product. But um, <laughs> thanks, Kel. <clears throat> Haven't a problem yet. I'm only one that uses FedEx. I have a problem getting packages. Huh? You are both doing, uh, oh, well, thanks to use another service. Really? The post office told you today to use another service? Wow. Great. Um, we don't usually have, I don't think we've had any problems ever with UPS, but usually only big boxes go with them. Usually. Our time doesn't change until tomorrow, so you're an hour earlier from your night. Oh, oh, okay. Diane's in, um, I want to say Belgium. Where wow. is it, Diane? Um, exactly, I don't remember. But um, anyway, that's a synopsis of things. Now, in between, like we sat for an hour on the beach yesterday, which is nice to hear the waves and feel the sand. Um, we, we're finding weird things, y'all. I'm just telling you, the, the, these roosters and these chickens are everywhere on this island. I, I can't believe it. They're wild like blackbirds or, you know, robins or something like that. If they will, they told me they will not return the money as they say that they now show it delivered. I'll tell you this something too, Keisha. I've had several of my package say delivered and the people say they didn't get it. Now there's nothing I can do about that because if, if I've sent it out and it says delivered and if someone has stolen it out of their box, I can't do anything about that either. I was surprised I got an email from you at all. I wasn't expecting it at all. No worries, Rhonda. I'm, I was trying. I I couldn't do it the first week. Have you found the wild Hawaiian chickens? Yes. And the funny thing is, are they protected, the roosters? Not that I know of. Marla, I don't know. No. Yeah, he's sleeping. I seen you fall asleep. <laughs> They're saying Jay Paul looks exhausted. He tired. is exhausted. He's tired. I woke him up and said, sit up here next to me. <laughs> Hosted a rooster that came in the parking lot at work. Never before. Crazy. Oh, down in Florida? Okay, so here's some. Um, this was just at McDonald's. Now, I have discovered that McDonald's, I thought it was just here because there's about a 50% Asian population here. There goes that lighting again. Yeah, the but um, <clears throat> the McDonald's look funny. It's like Wick Donald's. And they're doing some of this manga stuff. I had not heard of that. They also have a taro pie here that's offered here in Hawaii. And somewhere else. I can't remember what I read. Isn't that funny? Is Hawaii as pretty as the pictures show? Okay. Diamond King. Hawaii is beautiful, just like other parts of the U.S. It's beautiful. We've lived in Colorado. It's beautiful. I have, I live in Missouri and I think Branson is beautiful. So, and you know what? I, first of all, I think Destin beaches are prettier. They've even hauled in sand from Destin that I've been told because they have, and we're on Oahu. So a few facts about Hawaii that I've learned. Um, the big island is called Hawaii. And then um, the second biggest is Maui. And then we're the third largest. We're in the third largest, Oahu. Well, Oahu, though, has the largest population over a million people here. And uh, that's right. It's where the capital is, Honolulu. So it's the capital, the largest population. So it's like city living here. So there are innumerable homeless people. They're everywhere, every corner. I've taken pictures of them as best I can sometimes. Um, when I'm driving by, it's hard to get clear pictures. But um, let's see. Here's one here. This is just walking the, the, by the beach. There's just one laying right there by the beach. Um, let's see. Yesterday when we got McDonald's. I went to go feed the chickens, my leftover lettuce. And um, so I got out of the car. I was going to feed them the lettuce. And there was a homeless person in front of the car. And we didn't even see it because there was a bush there. 
and in front of the bush, the homeless person was laying on the sidewalk in front of the bush. And I got back in that car. I said, Jerry, dump that out your door because I ain't getting out. Because these homeless people, they have their stuff <clears throat> and they cover it with these tarps. And it can be shopping baskets and baby strollers and uh, rubber maids. So they have their stuff. Dustin is amazing. amazing. My sister lives there and we visit. So the, I, I like Dustin beaches better. I like them better. However, the weather here is very temperate. So it's um, at the hottest, it's staying. I mean, I'm not saying in the summer it can't get hotter, but it's staying right around 78, 80. Some people say, you know, their average weather is 82. It can be cloudy and rainy, but they don't get lots of storms. And the funny thing is all these hotels are open. If you recall last week, that that room that we were in, that was just completely open to the outside. So you walk into the hotel from the lobby, there's no doors. It's all open. Everything's open. <clears throat> yeah, Dustin in Florida, I like those beaches better as far as the beach goes. But they, this is beautiful. It has beautiful places, but so does a lot of places have beautiful places. Um, I had no desire to come to Hawaii. Um, I'm not one that needs to travel a lot. I do like the beach. I do like traveling to the beach. Uh, but what attracts people to Hawaii is the perfect temperature and the climate. That's what att uh, attracts people here. And Oahu, see, I haven't been to Maui. Haven't been anywhere else but Oahu. Sounds like hotels in the Caribbean and Mexico are very open. Yes. Okay, Ashley. So, it's, it's strange how they're just all open, just no doors. They're just all open. The eating places are all open. It, that's different to me. Um, oh, and the, and the schools are outside. So the weather is nice, but this is all city. Every place that we are is all city and lots of people. So yes, it's beautiful. And we did drive through the mountains the one day. I put some pictures on my Facebook page. Here's this, here's the two, maybe it's two homeless guys that were in front of our car at McDonald's. This one on the ground here. That's, that's when we come around from behind the bush. So we were parked here behind the bush and we didn't see them. That's the parking lot. And when I saw them, I come back around, but there's, there was actually two of them laying there together. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, see, <laughs> there he is through the bush. And there's actually another one laying beside him on that side. So they're all over. Uh, I try to get pictures of their encampments. They have encampments. Some of them have tents. It's crazy. Florida was a vacation. I did not get the joy. I had to have surgery as soon as I got home. Ah, yes, the white sand at Destin is beautiful. So let's see some of the chickens. I mean, there's chickens everywhere. So today we went through the McDonald's and here's these little babies here. You know you're across from, he's across from Chick-fil-A. I wonder if he knows that. <laughs> so that was a, just one little chicken and her brood. Let's see. The, uh, we went to a state park the day before he had surgery. No, two days before he had surgery. We went to the Dole Plantation. I did what I just did. <laughs> I, I changed the setup somehow. I, I hit something. I don't know. I don't know how to change that right now. Um, I saw the Dak paintings. I'm definitely getting the tropical one. See, here's Josiah and I at the Dole Plantation. We took them to the north side one day for them to go see the North Shore and to eat um, shaved ice at Matsumoto's. And, uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, Cheryl's saying that it's time to, if you've been in the Ticket to Ride event, it's time to choose your prizes. If you get your, been awarded uh, your points, it's time to choose your prizes. These were the boys uh, doing the crushed pennies. I collect, that is your last. I collect crushed pennies. Oh. What was I saying there? I said something. That is your last press penny to ever do with all of your vertebra intact. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> okay. Um, Barbara loved best ice cream ever. So they have shaved ice. I was at uh, Panama Beach. Yeah, that's pretty too. Uh, so you're saying they got released during the hurricane and, and they don't have hurricanes that often. Um, supposedly, oh, we went to the USS Arizona, folks. And um, let's see, we went there. And I think this was the day before surgery. Yes, it was. It was Monday. There are the boys. Noah and Josiah. Um, but we saw a sea turtle in there. That's, I don't know. We saw two things in there. Here's the sea turtle. I mean, yeah, let's see if we can see it. Just a couple. Just a couple. See it there by my finger? There it is. There he is. Look at him. There he is. So we got to see a sea turtle there. And then um, I made a crush penny years ago at amusement park. They love the shaved ice. Um, we They were here one day. My mom and dad were here. Uh, they got here the day before us. And then the 14th was their free day. That's when my mom twisted her ankle. We got to spend that day with them. And they're home now. They got home. Uh, Thursday morning, yesterday morning, they got home. They left. They had gone. They went to Hawaii for three days and Maui for three days. Yes, I like crushed pennies. <laughs> Cheryl says, wake up, Jerry Bernie. Okay, so the other thing we discovered at the USS Arizona. Now, y'all probably heard about this. I did not because we went to the gift shop and I bought these little pictures that um, because they look like rainbows and they call them black tears. And they were from oil coming up out of the USS Arizona. Well, I thought that was a long time ago, folks. Mm, apparently not. Watch. Yeah, it looks like oil. It is oil. From the ship. No. As much as I would like. Well, those that like to that, I don't think it, yeah. it's going to get trapped for, the, for 80 years. It's coming out just now. Yeah. So we looked that up, and guess what? It was oil from the ship. They had just filled that that ship up with a million gallons of oil to be set to sea when the um, within the Japanese attacked. It is still leaking oil in May for another 500 years. So we did not know that. Sherry, my mom's ankle <clears throat> still hurts. She has heel spurs. So she already had, you know, weak feet. I don't I don't know if she's got it checked out yet, but she'll have to. <clears throat> Let's see. She says, why not hula? So yeah, it's still leaking oil. We didn't know that. There's the Missouri. And uh, so that that was a neat day. Again, we went to the Dole Plantation. And we saw these things there, little stuffed pineapples. Guess which one I got? Can you guess which color I got? The ocean does get polluted. It, it, they leak about nine quarts of oil a day, it says. Uh, oh, no, Diamond King, that's not good. Yes, it has been leaking. They've done an environmental study on it, but they there's nothing they can do to stop it. Or they think it might be worse to try to stop it. Okay, I'm going to show y'all these chickens behind. Here's some chickens behind Josiah eating his shaved ice there at Matsumoto's at the North Shore. See that chicken back there? Right there? Or, um, well, here's, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. So he's got this little... They're all around the picnic tables. Looking for handouts. Serenity's going to love it. So, anyway, I just cannot believe all of them everywhere. Purple or rainbow? Rainbow. Well, they're all rainbow. But I got the one with the pink on top. <laughs> and um, y'all won't believe this. We were at that little shop by Matsumoto's. And, you know, they have all these uh, gifts, things. Well, the boys have been surfing three times <clears throat> and they had these little bitty 
collectible surfboards with everybody's name on it. You know, those souvenirs you can buy your names on. I seen one that said Noah on there. See that? It said Noah. And I said, oh my gosh, if they had one that said Josiah, I'll buy them both one. And I said, there's no way on earth some random booth's going to have a Noah and a Josiah. And they did, folks. They did. Can you believe that? So we got them one and they got to stand in front of the North Shore in front of the waves and hold their surfboards. <laughs> Debbie says, night, j <laughs> Um, well, Kayleen, I think there was no snoring on camera, Cheryl said. Um, they, the girls are doing fine at home. They've almost, uh, yes, Serenity, if you're still here, people are asking about you and thinking about you. They, uh, Serenity's almost caught up on orders. Let's see if she got it down there. We're going to catch you sleeping here. We're going <laughs> No, yeah, yeah, we're waiting on that. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Well, I thought they're going to catch up on orders. They got them down in the 30s. Now it's back up in the 70s. But she she did some she did good. <clears throat> okay. So anyway, a couple of MRIs done before and I kind of and I can find out if I have to have surgery or not. Ah. Yep. Lovely MRIs, right? So y'all know I upgraded my flight, <laughs> but uh, we'll have to see whether we leave late Wednesday or not. Depends on how Josiah does. But I don't think I told you that we saw parrots, literal green parrots flying around uh, the host house. And also when we went to the temple of the, what was it? Temple of the something or other. Anyway, it was a, a mortuary and graveyard and that they had a replica of a Japanese temple there. Yes, Cheryl, parts of the sparkler orders have come in. Of course, not metallic blue. I was also going to talk about the out-of-stock items because we are out-of-stock of quite a few things. Um, Aurora Spring came in and Thunder came in. So those have come in. We're still waiting on Luna and metallic blue. And then, uh, Cheryl, there's a couple more P4S besides 844 that we'll probably have to have you do. Um, anyway, so let's see. Also, they used a Mayfield clamp on his head to have surgery. Um, did you ever find a picture? Of that? I did. Let me see if I can. Okay. This is what the clamp looks like that they screwed into his head. It's similar to this. And this is not Josiah's head. Do not look if you are squeamish. But this is the Mayfield clamp being used to secure the head in space. Um, so that a person cannot twitch or move under anesthesia while they're working on that uh, high-priced real estate there on that neck spinal cord. So anyway. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Diamond King. Oh, good, Kim. I'm glad you did. Days and night mixed up. You got that right, Phyllis. It is, it is way different here. Can't talk to people like normal. It's way different. Um, but I was, I didn't finish something. What was I in the middle of saying? If y'all remember, y'all can tell me. Uh, here's a, here's, I was diamond painting before the live today. I finally got to diamond paint. I diamond painted uh, on the plane and I finished this little guy on the plane. So I got to do one. Perfect, right? So one of these I showed you before, I got to do Aloha Summer on the plane. thought that was very fitting. And then, um, of course, during surgery. Now, that day, we sat around a lot, obviously. And we had to come up with a, a place to diamond paint and all that. I told Josiah what I had. And he said, well, if you have a blue butterfly, make me one. So I don't know if he really wants it or, or not. I have another little one I'm going to do for him, too. But I only had two butterflies with some blue. So I finished this one for him. And so I did finish that one today, started during his surgery and finished that today. So that will be um, for Josiah. And then I got another little one that's a sticker if he wants that. If he wants these, he can have them. I don't know if he'll want them, but it'll be another memory thing that I have. Um, oh, Sylvia. Hi, hon. Thank you so much. I saw when I got your order out too. She rocks. She does. She does rock. She um, 
That's right. When I was in the hospital, I decided, I want to tell y'all something. I have learned from my son. I wore my shirt that I bought from Kakesha over Butterfly Kisses. If you haven't seen her stuff, go check her out. She's on Etsy. Y'all can throw that link in there. That's fine. And um, uh, so I wore my shirt. I brought it here to Hawaii. It says faith over fear. And if um, there's one thing, if there's one thing, and there's several, but if there's one thing I've learned from my son this week or this past week and a half, it is to have faith over fear because um, fear is just worrying about stuff you can't change. And that boy was not one time ever worried about anything. Not one time. He's not worried now. He's not worried at all. He's in pain, but he's just not worried about nothing. He, he doesn't worry about anything. It's just whatever comes. It's like a child, right? It's faith like a child. It's like, okay, that's the surgery you need to do. Just do it. And he don't think about nothing. I mean, the, he's not afraid of it. Nothing. So, um, so he told me and I'm like, well, if he's not afraid of it, then I'll not try to be afraid of all the things that could be. Cause honestly, that's usually where anxiety comes from anyway, right? <laughs> Is uh, thinking about all the things that could happen, uh, could go wrong. <clears throat> so right. Fear doesn't help. And, uh, that's right. So I just decided to put faith over fear as well. So I've had to learn from him this week. <laughs> he he was. He was, Phyllis. He was just the whole time, never. He Yes, he's still in the hospital because um, he's not, he can't get up and walk by himself. Um, he has to be able to do that and to manage the pain. And hopefully through the weekend, we'll see. I'm hoping every day we'll see market improvement. And um, we'll go back tonight. So we'll finish this live and we'll drive back out there to him tonight um because i gotta make sure he's eating <laughs> they don't make sure he does that and i'm gonna make sure he, he's eating um <clears throat> oh here was some of that mcdonald's manga stuff you know that those cartoons and manga uh i don't understand if it's just another promotional thing those are the bags those cartoons on the bags so i don't i don't know if it's just I thought it was just here, but my brother said that it, it, it's in the U.S., mainland, too. We can't say U.S., mainland. <clears throat> Thank you, Kayleen. Uh, but it's taken a while because of the back problems. Mm, gotcha. Tough way to learn lessons of faith, but he will have faith in prayers. All will heal as he needs. That's right. It's a McDonald's nationwide promotion right now. Okay, so I'm guessing a limited time, Amanda. Therapy would be exhausting for him at first, but he'll get better. He's still obviously got strength in his arms and um, he has the wherewithal, but he's just like the drugs are keeping him sleeping. He's just too tired. Yeah. Manga is huge worldwide. So I had never even heard of manga. I knew of anime, but I didn't even know of uh, manga. So I hadn't heard of that. So I thought it was an island thing. <laughs> I didn't know it wasn't. Oh, that tree, that weird tree. Now I've talked to Angela, uh, chatted with Angelina today and I posted this in the group. Here's this tree. Um, here we go. All right, Noah, you're going to show me what's inside of one of these things. Uh -huh. Yeah, here, show me that thing. Let's see. It's like a anyway so there was this strange tree with all these long hanging honestly they look like huge they're pods they're seed pods but they look like long long bananas that it got real right. That's going to be the nice way to say that. And they're real seed pods. I mean, they're just laying. I hadn't even noticed them the other days. I don't know if they just come off or what, but that was interesting. And um, Angelina caught a monkey pods. I don't know. Is Crashly in the house? Hey there. She said, hey, Jer Bear. Okay. Crashly said that. Uh, Kai was into manga. She read books backwards. What? <laughs> Continue prayers to find balance for Josiah to have less pain and be more conscious and responsive. Yes, nature's Pez dispensers. I guess so. They were kind of like that. Are those, um, mm, I don't know, Amanda. She just called them monkey pies, and I'm sure that ain't no technical name for them. Angelina was hoping to be here tonight, but since she's gone to being a manager, 
they are monopolizing her time and she's working way over her, is it 60 hours a week? What do you, 40 hours a week. She's working way over that. So, hey, Mindy. Thank you, hon. We need all of that we can get. Catapolis, catalp. I don't know how to say that. I'm so sorry. I've been reading this little book, but it don't help me say the names right. I'm trying. I keep asking natives how to say things. Um, it took me a while to get Mahalo because <laughs> I kept trying to say that wrong. But I got Aloha and Mahalo down right now in the Queen Capiolani. I got that down because we come to that every night. <laughs> Cat, how do you say it? Cata, Cat Alpha? I don't know how you say that. Pretty sure they're seed. I know they're seed pods. How far is your hotel from the hospital? Um, how far, J. Paul? Uh, in terms of miles I don't or see. minutes? We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Probably about 20, 25 minutes. Tripler is only eight miles from here, but it takes Catalpa. Okay, Catalpa. I got that. Catalpa. It's only eight miles from here, but it takes a good 20 minutes, sometimes longer on traffic. The traffic here is. If you get out at the wrong time of traffic, you're up a creek. You're just stuck. Catapa. i got to remember that. Catapa. Anyway, it's in big old funny trees with them long, funny seed pod looking things. Yeah. They have a lot of different uh, vegetation here. You know, kind of jungle looking. Went through the mountains the other day. They say there's no natural predators. So I don't know. Y'all know that um, Serenity's going to be raising quail. She's called me and she's bought quail eggs. And they're there and she's incubating them. So looks like y'all going to get to see some quails. And some call ducks and some button quail. Button quail. Are the leaves super huge on that catapa? Hmm, I don't know. They didn't... No, they're not. They're more like a mimosa. Oh, good, Jamie. Mimosa, catapas. No, not as small as a mimosa tree, but they're shaped elongated like that. So. Night, Mindy. Um, catapa is also called a cigar tree. The Hawaiian language only has 13 letters, so you got to get creative. I know, Melanie. It's what it was saying in here, and you got to pronounce every uh, syllable, that kind of weird stuff. Oh, I was going to show you all something. I did not buy this, but I was tempted to buy this. These are down by the beach here. And let me show y'all these. Is that cool or what? We wanted to. <laughs> Jay Paul would have. We want to hang it from the middle of our bed. We have a, a, a bed, a four poster bed. We want to hang it from the middle of that. But uh, we didn't yet uh, buy that yet. Oh, I know what else. We went to the swap meet last Saturday. We spent several hours at the swap meet down at the Aloha Stadium, and that was fun. And guess what? <laughs> I bought so many T-shirts and souvenirs that we ha I had to say, j Paul, go back over there to that uh, other booth and get an extra suitcase. <laughs> so we have an extra suitcase coming home. <laughs> Phyllis just asked, did you take extra suitcases? No, we bought one here. Uh, well, Diamond King, we can't afford it either. So we are just here and we're just pulling from savings. I mean, that's we're, we're this was not on the plan. We have had a lot of things happen. Remember, a water heater go out and the truck need repair and the washing machine go out. And the garage door, I forgot about all this. How much did that cost? You remember? Okay. Um, uh, but won't the local critters enjoy her new babies? Oh. Yeah. They will. What? What? Her oh. Quail. <laughs> yeah, I told her that. And them little them little button quail gonna walk right out of that fencing. Right out of it. That's right, Phyllis. So we're trying to just make the most of it. I told Jerry I said, you know, because he was very concerned about my like, it's gonna be our thirty some odd, what is it? How many? Thirty five? Remember 35? Sure. Let's see. 35? Oh, okay. He's no. Uh -uh. Who are Mary? 88. 88. 88? Mm -hmm. 
How many years is that? Six. I'll be 36 this year. In June, we'll be married 36 years. Uh, so this was our. Well, we've been married 35 now. But in June, it'll be 36. So this is our 36th wedding anniversary, birthday, <laughs> Christmas. Next anniversary. <laughs> Next anniversary and all that. <laughs> See, Angelina just got home from work. <laughs> 36 years. Yay. Don't quail eat ticks. Oh, just for that. I hope I hope they eat everything because everything going to end up being knit. I'm, I'm telling you, them. although Cheryl, she did end up putting some netting, bird netting above them and nothing else has gotten in there yet. They put wires around the top of the fence and they put netting over the top and nobody's gotten them yet. In April, they have their 40th. In April, we have, oh, they'll have their 40th. And so we're 36 and y'all are 40. Got my car back today after having it repaired due to hail damage. It looks like a brand new car with a new hood and no more peeling paint. Wow, Ashley. Me and my wife's uh, birthday is a day apart. Cool. Oh, that reminds me. Okay. There's so many little things I keep. <laughs> I can you tell him about the bone good bone? I have it down here so when he come out of the um the surgery, he says he wasn't gonna do meds, he's gonna do it all natural. And of course that did not last, poor thing. But he wanted those bones so bad. He wanted them to keep the top of those vertebra. He wanted them so bad that um he was crazy out there. You know how people take videos of after people getting their wisdom teeth out and they're all talking funny, you know, Josiah was being crazy because we had to tell him the worst thing was um, that they threw away his bones. The doctor made a mistake. He set it aside and then he got busy and got distracted with the call and they threw away the bones. So that was Josiah was pretty uh, upset about that. Don't forget you wanted to talk about out of stock items. Well, I did. Uh, that was the point. The out of stock items were out of. I've reordered them and they're they're reordered and hopefully night, Brenda. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, so we have reordered them and I have told Serenity, do not wait till I get home. Please check them in and add them to stock, please. Because every single day <laughs> someone keeps asking me. So uh, anyway, that's what I was going to say. Well, happy birthday. Bones, what bones? Did they take the bones? Yes, Phyllis. They took the top of the C4 through C6 out, the top of his vertebra out. They cut them off. They're gone forever and ever to access his spinal cord. So they are gone forever. That's why his neck hurts so bad. Not just the cut. They took his bones out. So, and they are gone. Let me see if this is the video here. I don't know if this is the one, folks. I will just see. Okay. Here's Saya. He's recovered. He's here. He's saying what you want to tell him. Well, God has miracles. So apparently from what I'm hearing, I haven't heard any bad news yet. So the surgery must have went well. It did go well. All right. So surgery went well. Amazing. Thank you for your blessings and guidance. The angels definitely dominated the battle. That's yeah. right. Except for there was one piece of bad news. What was that, Sia? They forgot the bones. They threw away your bones. Yeah. Are you going to be okay about that? Okay. Yeah, I'm upset. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're upset. I want to make breakfast. <laughs> oh, okay. And then reinforce them, like cover them in like brass or iron so that they get extra. Wait, I thought you were going to make something for your future wife to wear. What? No. You said a ring or something, something she could wear. She can have the hairbands that I purchased. <laughs> I thought you were going to make a ring for her to, uh, and say, This is a piece of me. Oh. Oh, but well, this is how big the brass knuckles are. <laughs> <laughs> if they're too small, it's going totally towards brass knuckle fighting experience. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Like, because eventually she she needs to learn self defense. So it's like every time you use this, remember me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so no ring anymore. Brass knuckles. Okay. Oh, if possible, I'm hoping for it. But it depends on how large the pieces are. Okay. You plan on being in a war zone or something? No, it's just oh, that you know, in the uh, U.S. neighborhood. <laughs> aren't so he was he was just hilarious. I'm one. Into the way. 
he he was funny because he's nice he's into the waves and like I'm and you had to, he, he was just saying he felt like he was in the surf and the waves. He it was just hilarious, hilarious when that wasn't the first. So the first video I took of him when I told him about the bones, he almost looked like he was going to cry there for a second. <laughs> he just really looked like he was going to cry. But then when you saw that video, he had already forgotten that I said there's no bones. And even today he's asking about the bones. So he's been really knocked out enough because he he's not even quite understanding. Yeah, he was on that good stuff right there. I don't know why he went to the brass knuckles. Because <laughs> the first question I'm like, you know, we went, I said, hey, and I got it. I said, now I want to tell you something. I threw away the bones and he looked like, you know, like he was going to cry. And he was like, I was going to give a ring to my future wife and have a part of me. And then that video, he goes to brass knuckles somehow. So it was really quite hilarious. The nurse was laughing with us at all the funny things he was saying. It was funny. So we had a good time with that. <laughs> but anyway, um, so they threw it away. And he was still asking about that today. Almost every single day we take wrong turns. These roads are hard to read. Um, they're hard to find. And J. Paul almost every day takes a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> so, so it took, better right now. Well, I thought you took a wrong turn today. Mm -hmm. It was yesterday. I know you took one yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, we ended up in Chinatown. They actually have a Chinatown here <laughs> on Oahu. And we ended up in Chinatown one day. But we went by through, through there so fast it didn't take any pictures. Um, also, we, we went to the temple place there. I thought they were littering. I thought people were um, actually littering because they there was bottled water or cans of soda out on these graves. And there's food out there uh, along with flowers, of course. But so I was told it's like tribute. So they had I mean, seriously had bags of food one had bananas and 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 um candy she was taking a picture of taking so long we thought i mean those started wondering if she's gonna take the food off the grave we weren't sure this one had peanut butter <laughs> sticks with grape jelly and gummy candies and banana see look they even left the water open but they put the food in baggies so i had never heard of that before you got to come up with your own names Haile Kala for me was holy alcohol. It's funnier that way. <laughs> well, you're on an island, so you won't get too far, right? Taking wrong turns leads you to interesting road trips. Yes. Well, that's true, right? Military. He, uh, uh, sorry, I was right up here too. He's in the military. Is that why he's in white? Yes, Phyllis. Okay, he had two choices. He said when they found out off the mass was in there, he was given two choices. You can have surgery here in Japan or go to Hawaii. He chose Hawaii. Good choice, son, because I don't know if I could have gotten to Japan. So this is a good choice. But we go here and talk to that doctor last week. And the doctor says, you do know that th this is a choice. You do not have to have this surgery. It's a very dangerous, a very serious surgery. You don't have to have it. You can even choose to go to the mainland if you want. And we all looked at each other like, we had a choice to go to the mainland. Why are you telling us that now? So he wasn't given a choice. The Navy didn't give him a choice. Japan or Hawaii were his choices. He did not know that he could do that. But he was here now and he's like, going to get it done. Uh, anyway, but that's why he's here in Hawaii because of the medical bases here and the hospitals here. Uh, let's see. Brass knuckles to fight. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see. So, I don't know. Maybe, have you heard of that? I've never heard of that by the graves. Is it? I don't know. But there's also, there was cats everywhere. There's also a whole bunch of feral cats along with the roosters. See, there's roosters. Um, we went to a little state park. See, this is, a, it was a beautiful place. It was called Ocean View Terrace. And I want to tell you, I thought they were selling homes up in this place called Ocean View Terrace. They were saying, still places for sale. Make sure, you, you know, they're having Ocean View Terrace. No, those were grave sites. See those boxes in there? So that was grave sites in there. This was a memorial place that you could still buy places for uh, plots to bury your loved ones. Lots of interesting birds. Did you taste the monkey pot seeds? No, but I told the boys to. I told the men yeah, to do I, it. 
You ate it? No, I got it. Where is it? I'm not. You going to try it? Go get it. I know. Go get it. Bring it here. Let's see. I'm not going to try it. Well, bring it here. We got to see. Will it kill us? It better not hurt us, Angelina. You better not be doing that to hurt us now. Look at all these cats everywhere. Do y'all have a cat problem over there in Maui too? Or a rooster and chicken problem over there? Valley of the Temples. Valley of the Temples. That's it. Valley of the Temples is where it went. I don't like roosters. I want to wear someone had one. It always what me over five. That's it. Uh, it's not. She says it's not. Okay. Then we went to the state park. Y'all, they had chickens and roosters. They had chickens and roosters and cats laying among them everywhere. Look, there's a cat in the middle of all them chickens. They had little bitty babies running around. And, uh, I mean, right there in front of the, the cats just sitting there watching them. Here's a, a broom. I felt like I was on a farmyard. Farmyard. They're just all uh -huh. barnyard, farmyard. Every, they're just everywhere. Look at this one. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> he was sick. <laughs> anyway, it's just surprised they have a chicken problem with all the cats. The cats just sit there and let all them little babies walk around. A bird is here. Get me, get some of those big roosters and get them the bones. Honestly, I thought about how can we find that boy some bones somewhere. I know. Love the men who hack off the coconut, and make a drink. Okay, here's a seed pod. Do I need to wash this first? Because it looks like a tick. Can y'all see that? It's kind of odd with the lighting there see looks like a big tick do i need to do i need to wash this first jerry we let's wash this first i'm not eating it i don't want to find it i don't want you to find it i was gonna eat it she said to try it we'll get more but you gotta wash it off not not with soap soap just right. get all the oh thank you lang i appreciate that You've never had them, but you're telling me to eat them? Are you kidding with me? I thought my cat would attack my neighbor's chickens. They apparently taught him to leave them alone. I know. I know. Let's see. Here we go. So here is one of the seeds. That ain't very washed, baby. That's got stuff on it. No. It, it, that it black stuff. No, it won't come off. No, give I, me a little tissue. I, I don't want to get that black stuff off. off. No, it will. It's got to come off. What is this stuff for? I don't like licorice. I don't like licorice either, Angelina. Let's see if it tastes like it. My mama loves it. All right. I'm going to clean off this black sticky stuff around it. There we go. Unless that's the part that's supposed to taste like licorice. Okay. Now we got it clean. Still just looks like a fat tick. That's what it looks like. Oh, they're not edible. I'll go and eat something. Did the natives tell you they're into eat? It's actually... They're not edible. Don't eat it until you know. Yo, what is this? 60 people didn't. It. Well, they didn't eat seed pods, did they? They won't let you bring them seed pods home, Jerry. Oh, yeah, they probably won't. She's telling me not to eat this. Until they lower that pain med, he may not be too functional. When Kai had her first surgery, she realized she was very sensitive to the pain drip. Oh, okay. Well, they're changing the meds when we got there today. Um. Angelina, you gonna have me eat some cat cat okay. How do they say it? Catalpa. Catalpa. Mm -mm. Okay, I gotta look this up real quick, y'all. Let's see. Can you eat catalpa beans? Oh, what the oh catalpa beans. All right. There we go. Can I eat it? No. Wisteria is a legume. Most legumes have bumpy seed pods. Catalpa is not a legume. I think seeds are flat and come with it. Mm -mm. All right. Let's see. What you going to say? Oh, wait, look. Pioneer doctors said the seed pods help with chronic bronchial affection, spasmodic asthma, labor, breathing, and heart problems. All right. What's a monkey pod? Can you eat 
seeds from what the heck is a monkey pod? Is that the same thing? Both the pulp and the seed are edible and possess a licorice light flavor. A monkey pod tree will live on average for about 80 to 100 years. Okay, so are these different? Sweet and edible. Native to Central America. Mm -mm. We better not be eating the wrong thing. Okay, hold on. Don't do that. Leave me alone. No, I don't want you to know that. Okay, so is a monkey pod the same thing as catalpa? Okay, let's see. Bean pod. Monkey, cigar trees, the catalpa. Hmm, maybe it's all the same thing. Indian bean and cigar tree. Okay, I don't know, y'all. Let's see. The kids I used to nanny for love them. Okay, the soft. Okay, we're going to try it. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here it is, right here. We're going to try this. I don't like licorice here. Uh oh, that's hot. Wait, I'm going to hurt my teeth. You can't eat that. That's like a rock. Did you give me a rock? No, that's what the seeds are coming out. You can't eat that. Look. I tried it. That's like a rock. You can't eat that. I don't know how, why that's supposed to be edible. It, it won't work. It's like a rock. So I can't get it open. Can't eat it. I tried. That didn't work. Okay. Why did we think we could eat it? It's so hard like a rock. I never I don't thought have that you one. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Anyway, by the way, remember I said my glasses broke? These are the ones that broke, but they've held together. And, of course, my new ones were delivered the day we left, so I didn't get those yet. Those are at home. But thank goodness they've stayed there. Um, the deck, Diamond Art Club, anything, don't break your teeth. I know that was very hard. <laughs> Michelle says, put that seed back. <laughs> um, I plan on getting Palm Paradise. How perfect, right? I'm going to get the Palm Paradise tomorrow from Dak. Well, Lord willing, I got the time thing all messed up. Angelina, what's the trick? Oh, oh, it says it may not be ready. Ready is technically a fruit, says Angelina. Put that seed back. Uh, you need to break it. Uh, you need a beak to break it. Yes, you do, because that's, that's hard. Um, let's see. Liberty Torch. I want the Palm Paradise for absolute certainty. Oh, and the Dakota. I like the Dakota. Close your eyes with the butterflies. I like that one. I'm going to get that one. What about the Liberty Torch? What do y'all think about that? Um, let me show y'all if you haven't seen it because I like it enough. I think I'm going to get it and I don't. Does it have a bad meaning? Because I, I hope not because I don't understand why it's breaking through. This one. Melanie's getting the Dakota whales. And this one. I like that. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Do you think that means anything bad? No, I don't. So anyway, it's called Liberty Torch, but I liked it. The rending is beautiful on that one. Love the Liberty Torch. It confuses me. I know. But I, I like it enough that I think I'm going to get that. I'm going to get Dakota too, Rochelle. And of course, the palm trees. Do y'all know what I'm talking about on the palm? You know I'm getting that one, especially where I am right now. That will have a lot of meaning for me. So I'm definitely, definitely getting that one. So I am getting those tomorrow. Well, Lord willing. Angelina, I got to, how do you, like, when do you buy them from Diamond Art Club so they don't sell out being five hours behind? I'm confused on that. So you need to let me know. Um, oh, we did get a call yesterday. Jerry's phone rang. We got a call. I thought, oh, my gosh, it's going to be about Josiah and it's the hospital. Um, but maybe up for your interpretations, whether it's positive or ne negative. We have to awake at 6 a.m. Uh, really? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I like the palm tree and the Liberty. Palms are pretty. Try not to buy. Yeah. Um, let's see. What? What are you about? Oh, Art and Soul, by the way. Art, Cheryl told me today that Art and Soul ha has a lot of new artists. Reagan and uh, Jasmine Beckett, 
Griffith, but they also have Jody Bergsma. I love that artist. So I plan on getting some from that. I love that. And we also, we've done a few from Art and Soul and we're planning on doing some more. We also have several from Rhinestone Goddess that we plan on working up as well. We we're supposed to be doing that this month. We didn't get to that yet, obviously, for uh, obvious reason. Um, let's see. And what were you saying about what? My phone, phone. Oh, the phone call. <laughs> Duh, it's right here in front of me. I couldn't even remember what I was talking about. Uh, 6 a.m. Shucks. Palm and Dakota in the cabin and the torch. Yikes. Yikes, Cheryl. I know. I like the cabin. It's just very dark. So the cabin, I didn't mind it. And I was going to do that with the um, palm tree if I had to. But now there's enough. I don't need that one because, you know, I got to get free shipping and all that, right? Okay. So we get a phone call. And I thought, oh, my gosh, it's the hospital. Jerry, get the phone now. And um, it was Amazon. Amazon was calling us here in Hawaii yesterday morning going, you have your dog out and I need to deliver a package. Please call the dog inside. I'm like, okay, that's the first time that's ever happened. So I have to get on the phone and call Serenity. I'm like, Amazon's outside and there's and Lucy's out. Go get Lucy. Remember we have a little Yorkie? So they, this happened had to be a new person because we get Amazon deliveries every week, all week long. So it had to be somebody new because they were like, the dog's out. We're not going to deliver. So that was kind of weird getting a call here about uh, the dog being out there. So that was weird. But anyway, um, I think that about wraps it up for tonight. Yeah, because we're going to go see Saya. It's been an, oh, it's been an hour and 20 minutes. Ah, what causing the dizziness and fainting? That's scary. Well, they've messed with the spinal fluid and he's been laying down a long time. So I don't know. Uh, that's what I'm guessing, Phyllis. Melanie, they're afraid of Lucy. Right. I know it had to be a new person because anybody that delivers to us knows that she don't do nothing. So I don't know. Maybe it's someone uh, who's had a bad experience with dogs. That happens to people. Right, Cheryl? That can happen. Amazon texted me this morning asking if our dog was friendly. Hmm. I like the palm tree and the whales and the baby were getting Diana. Oh, Diana. I don't remember Diana. What's that one? Okay. I don't remember that one. I'd have to see. Diana. Um, I don't know who Diana is. Oh, who's Diana? Is that the unicorn? Oh, gotcha. Abig Abignail. Yes, I, I love the colors on that one. I do love the colors. I just thought her crystal hair was strange. I love the colors and the unicorn. But... Um, and I do have a lot of her other uh, kind of magic and stuff, the other ones. But I don't know. I just thought the things on her head were weird. Messing with spinal fluid cases a lot of he oh causes a lot of headache pain, like when they poke too far. Oh, with the epidural with labor. You can get an unbelievable awful headache for 10 days. Ah, yeah. And they had to go in there and pull it out. So the updates on Josiah. Yes, Diane. Let's see. Amazon delivered a box today and then looked in my mailbox. Thank goodness nothing was in it. Okay. No, it's okay. So, gotcha. Okay. Well, those are our basic synopsis, overview, our uh, thoughts here about Hawaii. Um, I think it was Diamond King. So, yes, it's beautiful. And... If you have the money and you want to go, you can go. But it's a very long, to me, the, the um, plane ride was a very long trip. And um, I don't think I, I, um, I don't think I would have done it had I not had to do it. So, and we're here making the best of it. We can say we did it, but I wouldn't say everybody needs to do it <laughs> unless you want to. <laughs> so there you go. How about that? Dreamers released tomorrow are said to have crystals. Oh, cool. I didn't even look at what she has or what Dreamer has. I'll have to look because I, again, I've been seeing things in bits and spurts. And, um, of course, our time, it's just, uh, what time is it here? 520 here. So we're going to go, still go um, see Josiah afterwards in the hospital. Yeah, yep. So I see they got another train and some houses and uh, another Curtis. Oh, this one. Wow. Have y'all seen that one? That's pretty. Pretty, pretty. That's cool. I'll have to check her out. See if her hands and hair look good because of the AI. Sometimes I got to make sure of that. But um, you don't like heights. Yeah. 
Well, thank y'all for coming again and spending a little bit of your time with us here in Hawaii. By next Friday, we should be home. Very tired, but we should be home. We will see. Um, oh, I see a couple of the dreamers have crystals. Cool. Uh, I've seen a few uh, people finishing some of the Jen Stobes creation ones. So if you haven't checked out some of her mixed uh, drilled canvases, check those out. Yep. Any workers and lurkers, put all your uh, emojis in there. And thank y'all. They are coming out with glitter drills. Ooh, going to name them something different. Awesome. You know how I feel about having mixed drill canvases. That's what I'm all about. I love it. So the more the merrier. That's right. So night to y'all. While well, we go have our evening, I'll probably stop at a shop, go to Josiah, and maybe even come home and walk the beach. We did walk the beach the other night, but we had to be careful because they don't have long, flat places out to the water. It's very, here at Waikiki anyway, it's very short. They, um, there is sand. And I understand that even Hawaii has more of a rocky, you know, volcanic mm. base. Oh. Yeah. And even here, when you get out in the water, it hurts your feet a lot. We had to buy water shoes. So um, we might do that. But the, but the, um, the beach was at an angle so oh. much that I hurt my hip walking on that at the angle and Jay Paul's hurt his hip too. So we got to be careful <laughs> about all the walk and leave the seeds outside. <laughs> Rochelle says, Hey, I might get some to try. Maybe I'll try one that's already ready to go. I don't know. <laughs> but um, anyway, y'all remember to shine bright and don't let anybody dull your sparkle. I appreciate y'all for showing up and for all your prayers and well wishes. I appreciate y'all. And uh, maybe next Friday night, we'll be back in Missouri. We'll um, see what happens this week, right? So we'll know then. Uh, thank thank y'all and thanks for all your patience if you're waiting for orders or email messaging. Yeah, the seeds are for the chickens, <laughs> says Rochelle. She'll leave them outside. Okay. All right. Bye, y'all. Thanks for coming. <laughs>